This is a demo of how to get Sugar CRM to run on Ubuntu 11 uh, using a uh, just the installer, uh, the zip file from uh, Sugar CRM. Uh, first, you need to download the zip file. Um, here, I've re renamed it to call it sugarcrm.zip, um, and then I have a directory called CRM. Um, basically, you copy the file over. Uh, and then to your CRM directory uh, and then you uh, unzip it uh, and then once it's unzipped uh, you'll have the directory renamed to some other name um, you can uh, basically copy uh, go into that directory uh, copy everything over uh, move it over uh, to a lower directory like that um, and then remove the old directory <coughs> uh, now once uh, it's installed um, you have to make sure that uh, your public HTML is readable from the outside um, and uh, then you can uh, start the installation script. Uh, there's a few changes you need to do, but it's better to just first start with the installation script and then go from there. And what you do is you go to the directory uh, that you installed it on your web browser and you go through the installation uh, procedures that it says. Um, prior to this, uh, I had to install uh, MySQL and also PHP 5. Um, now <coughs> there's a couple errors that you get when trying to install it uh, if you just unpack the file so you, I'll show you how to get past those errors on the moment. You'll notice when you do an ls-al on your main directory where you installed it uh, the uh, pass will show that your username here uh, you need to change that to be uh, www-data um, so that the uh, web browser, uh, the Apache server, can access uh, the files. To do that, you need to run uh, a command from your command line to change the group name to all of them to www-data. Um, that command is looks like this. And then when you type the ls again, you'll see that the group name is changed to www.data. You also need to change the owner of all the directories too, and you can do that with this command. Uh, actually, there's a problem with that. Hold on a second. Yeah, the main thing is you have to make sure your uh, root user to do that command. Uh, it's just chown. Uh, and then dash hr and then www dash data to star and that will go ahead and change the permissions and then when you uh, list the directories you'll see that the uh, uh, that the names have changed for everything and then you can also change the group names again uh, and you change the ownerships of both <coughs> and the directory structures look like this um, basically with WW data you can go back to your web browser and it should pass uh, that problem that you had before and you can just go through and do a typical installation uh, with MySQL um, here I have a database name as just sugar CRM which I've already created um, uh, you have to basically manually create a uh, MySQL uh, database uh, and then also add yourself as a username and then, since I'm doing this uh, on a local host, on a machine that I've SSH'd into, I can just do local host here, and then my uh, username, and I'll just pause this for a second. And then after you type in all those uh, things, you can just accept here and go through, and then type in a password for your uh, uh, main login. The next screen should basically look similar to this, and you just click install, and it should install you. Takes a moment. Let's 
So this is now complete the installation. And skip your registration if you want. And then you can log in. Now I've logged in here, the screen should look like this. You can change the name, the logo if you want. And I set up it with a Gmail account. As you set your email, you can go to the administrator screen, type in an email address here if you want. Um, now you should be on this screen after that is your yeah, email is fully set up. And you can start using uh, Sugar. Um, it's a good idea to check uh, a couple things out after your installation just to make sure that you can add say a contact to see if things have actually been set up properly um, create a new contact test user and try saving it to your database to make sure everything is good and it actually saved it so you know that you've actually written and read from your database and that means that sugar has been uh, successfully installed the other thing you want to do is check um, that uh, you can actually CD in and edit some of the files if needed. So here I've gone into the modules directory, um, which is one of the main directories, uh, you know, and then you can see the files. Make sure that uh, you know you can basically view the files, edit them from your command line. So if you wanted to change any of the PHP files, uh, you could do that. And that is basically it for the uh, Sugar CRM installation, a custom installation with downloading only the uh, uh, basically downloading only the the source package and uh, having already having Apache installed. There's one last thing I want to show you how to do. Um, that's do the MySQL add something to your database. So basically, to summarize, what you want to do is you install Ubuntu. Install Apache with AppGet. You have to install MySQL with AppGet. Install PHP 5 with AppGet. Configure your PHP 5.com file so that you can run it. Uh, you don't always have to do this, but you might have to do this uh, if you want to do like local user directory copies of Sugar CRM. Um, and then you have to make sure this is actually not true here. Uh, you mainly want to change the ownership and uh, of the uh, the directories and then from the mysql uh, prompt the way that you get to the mysql prompt is uh, basically by just typing mysql from your command line but you have to basically also be a sudo user uh, for that um, and then you should be able to access it and then you can go in and type these commands basically create da database whatever your database name is with a semicolon and uh, grant all privileges on and then whatever your username is localhost identified by your password uh, with with grant option and then semicolon and then uh, that's basically it uh, for uh, a sugar installation